Welcome back in. Let's dive right into the deep end. Could crime-fighting robots be the answer to help keep communities safer? Well, one company says they don't replace law enforcement, but they're an extra set of eyes. Joining us to continue that conversation this morning is the president of Security Services Northwest, Joe Diamico. Joe, thanks for joining us. First, why don't we just talk about Nightscope Security Robot? What is it and how does it work? The Nightscope is, uh, is a company that we partner with, uh, and they're out of Mountain View, California. And basically, it's an autonomous robot that basic you could set up a patrol route um, in a given location, maybe a parking garage, um, a school, hospital facility. And Nightscope, uh, when I what, what I mean by autonomous is that it, go, it goes around by itself, so it has a pre-designated route. And then it goes around that route and is recording uh, 360 degrees with uh, video, thermal imaging, um, license plate recognition, as well as uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, detection. So if somebody's in a particular area where there's not supposed to be anybody there, it'll pick up a it'll pick up a cell phone signal or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth uh, signal. Uh, not to mention it has um, a a lot of folks have probably seen the uh, the technology of the blue light station. Uh, on the back of the robot, there's also the capability of pushing a button and uh, uh, initiating a two-way communications to our 24-hour command center. Pretty interesting, and they sure do look fascinating. Um, Joe, you already kind of mentioned the emphasis on certain areas or buildings where these robots will be placed, places like schools and hospitals. Can you kind of elaborate on that? How will those uh, particular or specific buildings be selected and how many robots will be placed uh, near each building? It, it'll be dependent on what the customer needs are and then how they want to augment their current security posture. So uh, some people might just want to have it in, uh, roving a parking garage because they're having you know theft. It's not going to replace security officers and that's that's one thing a lot of people uh, you know, especially folks in the security world are, are worried about. It's it's just going to augment them. It's early detection, and it'll be, you know, kind of dependent on each uh, particular client and what their needs are uh, with regards to security. You know, so many law enforcement agencies in our area are dealing with staffing shortages right now. We know these robots don't actually replace law enforcement, but they could be part of the solution to that problem. What's your take? Yeah, I, I, I think any time that you can get early detection and, and have the ability to record um, and detect, especially, uh, uh, you know, workplace violence situation as well, uh, I, can, I can envision uh, robots like this uh, going around city blocks um, continuously. And, you know, they don't, uh, they don't call in sick um, and they basically are out there working uh, 24 seven and can report back to dispatch centers, um, you know, critical incidents and, uh, and, and be a great uh, crime fighting tool for law enforcement as well. They can't call in sick. They can't request vacation time. They're gonna be working for us. <laughs> um, Joe, like, you know, there are critics to, to everything. Some people may have doubts that robots could be the answer to helping deter certain crimes. What's your message to those who might still be a bit skeptical about these? Well, I, I, you know, give it a chance, and, um, and 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 that's what we're doing right now in Squim, Washington, is we're testing it around our facility, and um, we've had some people that uh, are concerned about it, but then we've also had some open houses, and I think so. Education is is key, and and having people come over, and the, and the kids really, um, uh, it's interesting. We have people that drive by with their families to look at it, and um, uh, they 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 tend to they tend to like it. Okay, Joe. Thank you so much for your time. It looks so it looks so cool. This looks very futuristic. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, thank you. What do you think, Tyra? You bet. Yeah, and just one, and just, just one, uh, one quick thing. It's about five four and it's four hundred and fifty pounds. Oh, oh wow. Okay, that's I couldn't really tell. Wow. I'm glad you mentioned that. In the video, it looks taller than five four, but it also looks like it could just be five four. It's as tall as I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and like four of you. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Interesting. Um,